I'm Darren Marlar, and this is a Weird Darkness Bonus Bite. From Lad Bible, Man Spent 50 Years Tricking Entire Town Into Believing Bigfoot Lived There by Jess Battison Sometimes you might prank your mates by telling them the wrong dress code for an event, or you might wrap your uni-flat mate's room in foil, or perhaps your pranking days started off as a kid with simple games of knock and run. But rarely is a prank so extravagant that it crosses decades and fools a whole town. And one man in Alabama spent 50 years tricking his entire town of Brantley into believing Bigfoot lived there. Prankster genius Eugene Hendrick's plan hatched back in the 70s when locals spotted tracks by a river. Hendrick told WFSA Television, I got a wild hair one day. I wanted to do something about a Sasquatch. I got some big old feet and bolted some shoes to them and walked around by the river making tracks. I even made claw marks in the trees. However, speculation soon filled the town of Brantley as they were convinced that something out of the ordinary was going on, and it got so wild even the police and search dogs showed up. Local Jimmy McGinty was just a child when the mysterious Bigfoot was supposedly wandering around their town. He remembered, I was just going out by the river and saw some unusual tracks on the sandbar. I went and looked and saw these big footprints, and I'm going, am I seeing this right or not? But with such fear in the community and the police involvement, Hendrick decided to abandon his antics. He said, I put the cutout feet and shoes away and kept it a secret until 2017. And for a long while, no one knew that he'd been behind it. But then Hunter Royal, who owns the old Gin Greek Country store in Brantley, decided that he'd start selling a monster burger, the Sasquatch Burger. And Hendrick decided it was time. He was going to come clean about his epic pranking. McGinty couldn't believe it was him behind it all and said, I knew I wasn't crazy then, but he got me. The store then went on to sell all kinds of Bigfoot merchandise, even picking up a 3,500-pound solid concrete Sasquatch. Hunter was pretty surprised when his father-in-law McGinty showed up with the huge creature, saying, I was in shock. It has made a landmark for the community. And in almost sweet end to his operation, Hendrick was the one to paint the giant statue, using his professional artist skills to design the landmark. Although it seems the locals do still reckon some kind of creature exists in the town, as Hunter said, if you don't believe in Sasquatch, you're the problem. Find the link to the original story in the show notes. And find more strange, funny, or disturbing news in the Weird News and blog at WeirdDarkness.com.